and cities are where the action is right now, primarily due to the void of leadership coming out of Washington and the need for all of us to fill that void and to make sure that we continue as, as Americans to live up to our uh, commitments to the Paris Agreement, that we build safer, smarter cities for our residents. Uh, all of it fits in exactly with what we're trying to do to build a more resilient city here in New York City. My name is Dan Zarelli. I'm the Chief Resilience Officer and the Senior Director for Climate Policy and Programs here in the Mayor's Office in New York City. We're almost three years into the delivery of 1NYC. It was a groundbreaking roadmap for New York City, the first resilience strategy as part of the network, and we made some really big commitments on our, uh, on our ability to both reduce our greenhouse gases and get at the root causes of climate change, as well as adapt our city to its inevitable effects. Since Hurricane Sandy, we've continued to make the city safer uh, and more resilient against the impacts of climate change. The coastal protection projects all across the city, the Rockaway Boardwalk being a shining example of the resilience dividend of providing protection to the residents of the Rockaways, but also the daily amenity of a great new boardwalk. Um, we are continuing to invest all over the city in our infrastructure, our power grid, all of our city infrastructure, and we're baking that into how we, how we do things all over the city with our new climate design, uh, the resiliency design guidelines. Our city faced and saw firsthand the impacts of climate change when Hurricane Sandy hit. 44 lives lost, $19 billion in damages and lost economic um, activity. And from that moment, we knew we needed to continue to accelerate our actions. We need to adapt our city and build resilience. We need to cut our greenhouse gas emissions. And what we're doing with this new work is bringing an element of accountability uh, with our climate change work and really bringing the fight directly to the fossil fuel companies that have caused this mess and making sure they're held accountable for it. We're divesting our pension funds and we're suing them for the damage they've caused. Uh, no city has done this, no state has done this, that we are going to divest from fossil fuel reserve owners over the course of the next five years. We hold in our $190 billion pension funds about $5 billion in fossil fuel reserve owners, and it was important for us to send a, a message and a signal from the financial capital of the world that this is no longer acceptable. These stocks and these securities have underperformed over the past years and their outlook continues to be poor. It's one more piece of our efforts to adapt to the effects of climate change and make sure we are building a climate smart city.